Hi everyone, it's Chanel here from the Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for June 19th to the 25th, 2017. Magical mermaid and dolphin cards. That's what I was drawn to today, which means there's some manifesting and abundance that's going to flow forth, hopefully. Another beautiful deck by Doreen Virtue. Let's draw three cards. There's number one already. Uh, to see what, oh, number two. The energy is for this coming week because it definitely feels like one of creation and growth. Okay, let's see here. Our first card we have, ah, stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit before you get, before the miracles occur. And it really does feel like that this week. As soon as I drew the cards, I could feel this excitement coming forth for the energy of this week and how things have shifted. There's a shift that's happened that's opened up a bit of creation again of abundance that's coming forward. So the next card we have is Morning Affirmations. And it is stay positive. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation, which is a great idea regardless. Morning, um, evening, noon, bedtime, whatever time you want to do it. Saying positive affirmations, creating a gratitude journal is another great way uh, to create the high vibration and to really bring forward the things that you want to in your life. Our last card is perfect. Blessed change. A major life change brings you a great blessing. And again, remember that the changes that we have in our life aren't always the changes we think we should have or the changes that, you know, um, we were expecting or wanted to create. You know, we're always sitting on the cusp of things. I am personally sitting on a big cusp right now of coming or going from one of my part-time jobs that I really love doing, but I'm not sure that I love working where I do anymore. It's a very difficult decision to walk away, and it hasn't been resolved yet, and it's going to be this week, hopefully, but it's interesting because I find for myself, if I haven't let go of things that I need to let go of, the universe helps me do that. In not always the nicest of ways, but it does help me to do that, and you know, I can definitely honor that I need to create space in my life to create more of this business, of the energy work that I love doing so much, but also creating more space for downtime for myself, as well as creating more space for my family, which is super important. They're the ones that I make the most space for these days, um, but I definitely want to create more time and space for creating my natural sprays and handmade malas and being able to do, offer more workshops, oracle card readings, mediumship galleries, that sort of thing as well. So this week, the universe is really encouraging you to take a look at those things that you want to create in your life and how are you going to make space for those things? What are the things that you need to let go of to create the space to make room for the things that you really, really want in your life? What is important and what isn't? And I'm going to take that back. What isn't important, but maybe what are the things that you have to sacrifice to create the things that are the most important things in your life? Everybody is different and what they want and what they want to create. And as well, we shift and change. You know, that part-time job definitely had a purpose for me when I first moved to the Hamilton area, and maybe it doesn't anymore. That I haven't decided, and the universe hasn't shown me which way to go yet. I am very much aware that the meeting I have with my boss is what's going to make me decide one way or the other or create that shift in itself to create something new however that comes out. But I'm open to whatever that happens to be. That is the big thing. When we set expectations, we are creating a box and we are creating um, energetic restrictions for ourselves. When we can just be open to whatever that flow is, whatever's coming forth, that's when things shift and change. So really be aware of how much you are, have expectations, how much of your goals and inspiration are really just sending you back instead of being really open to what the universe has to show you. Open to the intuition, the gut feeling that you're getting about things and what needs to happen next. That is really big this week. Pay attention. What do you need to do to create shift and change in your life? And how are you going to move towards the things that you want to do? That is starting by clearing out some of those old habits maybe or things that you need to move out of the way to create energy and space for other things to come in. 
really look at this. This is super important this week. Energetically, we need to make some movement in our energy to create. If you want to move to a place of abundance, you have to get rid of the weight that's holding you down and holding you back. All right, here we go. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you again next Monday.